YouTube subscribers. This is JW Soul USA. Um, this is uh, part six of portable survival solar kit for emergency. I was um, constructing or I was putting together for quite a while. So I want to thank you guys if you're just tuning in and you're welcome to my channel. And this is how things are happening here. So part six is to show you guys how the uh, to hook up the um, the inverter, which is a Samlex power 300, 350 watt pure sine wave inverter, and it's right here. This little guy is going to be doing his thing. It's a 12 volt pure sine wave inverter. This is just a recap of the uh, video before going to the next series. And uh, I think it's a good uh, descent for the, um, the name, for the quality or for your reputation. Samlex has a very good reputation. So you can see it has um, um, two outlets for AC. 115 volt it has an on and off switch to disconnect on the power off a USB port for charging cell phone or little devices and you have the power and you have the main power green that tells you is an indication is working and is the fault light so the vent it's not kind of metal like um, the other Samlex. This is just a, a plastic like. But I think it's kind of decent. I don't know. I have to um, go about it and test it. It has a fan here to cool the system. The little storage are here. That's supposed to be right here. So once more again, these are the specs. If you are just... Uh, Tune in to this channel and I want you to have a recap of the uh, what I already said on the part 5. Well, Samlex is made, supposed to be made in America. Uh, supposedly, um, um, now it says here, made in China. So, that kind of little worried me. Worries me a little bit because I was trying to do something that's really uh, reliable efficient and it's made in America so at least I trust my uh, my country uh, device I know that it's going it's not gonna break on me easily so I'm not gonna be worried about too much problems or hustle about anything warranty whatever well this one 350 watt PO sine wave inverter okay so I will show you how to hook up this device. Stay tuned, relax, and um, have some fun. Learn something new. If you already know, know about this thing, well, I encourage you, you always learn something if you just uh, patiently listen and uh, go about the things you will see a lot of things. Oh, I forgot. That's another light here. This is just the LED um, that gives you the power when you turn the power on. Here is a f uh, fault light. Here, I think when it's running continuously on load, on the load, no max. This one, green lights indicated or something. So, um, we go back to the batteries are here. These are four um, 12 volts, 22 amp hour battery, and 20 hours of runtime. A Schumacher car. Um, LPX 1220 you can look it up these are refurbished batteries I got and I keep on saying that so that if this is the first video you're watching so you know exactly what I'm dealing with it's not brand new batteries um, I try I rebuild them if you want to know the charge control I use um, you have to go back and check on to um, 
part four, part five of the video, and you will see the charge control. I kept going with all the uh, uh, installation articles. All right, let me don't keep you too long, and stay tuned, and you guys um, subscribe, like, thumbs up, and share, and I'll show you how to hook up the inverter. This is on an apparel connection positive 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 and negative and negative, negative so tied it together to give you a 88 amp hour battery bank all right take care right here youtube um these are fuse right here these are just uh, one of my parts um laying around do nothing so one of my scrap wires and all the crazy stuff uh so you see the fuse right there. You have to have a fuse line from the batteries to the inverter. So YouTube, um, stay tuned, and I'll show you how to hook up this uh, inverter. All right, YouTube, um, this is one of the terminals already hooked up here. I'm tying up stuff and uh, getting it ready. All the contacts are tight. So you're going to get the uh, negative wire right here. Um, here is a negative wire, tighten up, get it all tight, and uh, so we're going to take this device, and the neutral, which this wire is going to tie it from the end Part of the K, um, the battery bank, and the positive from here is gonna go on here, so that you will draw. The battery is gonna be drawing evenly, so it takes from the power from all these batteries instead of putting. Some people I've seen people connecting from this terminal to this terminal, so you just tend to draw all power from this battery alone instead of drawing the entire power from the the battery bank so you're drawing just on one that's not the way to do it the positive of the uh, inverter is going to go here and the negative is going to go on the far end so you pull evenly then you have a, a better um, efficiency on your battery bank okay all right you two before i'm going to connect the inverter I just want to show you guys the battery voltage because I was going to skip that part. So we got to turn the uh, meter here, multimeter. So we set it up onto the DC, which is the battery, this one here. Okay. So now it's reading. zero out okay so we're gonna take one of the terminals the the probes and uh put it right here and take the other end and touch it right here so that's oh okay that's the correct voltage right there. The batteries are all charged. Fully charged gives you about 13.34 watt. Oh no, sorry. 13.34 volt. 13.34 <laughs> volt at 88 amp hour capacity. All right. So I just wanted to show you guys that uh, the batteries came back to life. And um, I'm not going to just 100% trust them. I would try to put them on load and try to put them um, at work. Okay. So this is how we're going to do it. And uh, stay tuned. Showing you how to hook up the inverter. And from there, and you're going to be seeing part 7, how we're going to put a load into this inverter. Well, part seven is going to have the uh, 
survival refrigerator is going to be connected into this and we can power it up and from there we can try some other few things maybe a 60 inches um, um, ultra high definition television and um, maybe uh, a chest freezer with a seven cubic chest freezer that will be the next um, uh, test so I can see how this inverter can do or survive in a critical situation powering my little loads with those little two uh, 50 watts Renault G solar panels all right stay tuned well YouTube we are back again inverter is already wired if you can see the negative of the inverter is tied here to the far end and these are all the positive ne the negative and here are all the positives so I use these wires just for uh, demonstration purposes it's not like uh, this is what I'm gonna be using the ground wire was the 8 gauge wires you know and um, the positive tied into here that comes to a fuse and fuse to the back of the inverter okay so we are set and ready to go all right youtube um inverter is all set up and everything is ready to go so as um now we can try to turn the inverter on to see if it's going to come on and all of a sudden when we're done with that then i'm going to be um i want you guys to stay tuned for part seven on uh wired up the inverter and the inverter already wired just to uh, plug in some load into it and see what we can uh, do what this inverter can do okay all right um, stay tuned and uh, please subscribe thumbs up and share comment this JW solar USA enjoy the video all right YouTube we are back here so I'm gonna power the inverter and you guys can see if everything goes well. Keep fingers across. All right. So, by God's power, uh, by God's grace, uh, this inverter is gonna run, and everything's gonna be okay. No explosion here. We're not gonna think. We're not gonna have any kind of negative thoughts here. We think something bad's gonna happen. It's fused and it has all the proper connection. There we go. Voila! Just fired up see that that means there's power yeah that's really encouraging well so far so good this is how it should be so that means we did pretty good guys so now I'm gonna take you to the multimeter to show you what how many um, what's the voltage coming out from this thing so i have to put it on the, the volt right here and i'll show you how we can do this so stick one of the probes right there all right youtube and uh here's the voltage coming out from that inverter see that 119.4 volt all right, so the inverter is working. That's a good sign. You can't just plug things right away. You have to test things and see how they go. So I'm gonna try the other side here and see if it's working. Okay, folks, it's working. Reads the same thing again, 119.3.4. There's power right there. And this is how I'm going to wrap up the video for part 6 of um, my survival kit here. And uh, if you like, my friends, you know, this uh, series is going to be going and going until we get to the end. I uh, hope you guys are really, I know you guys are already energized. You guys really want to see the end product of this, how uh, everything is going to be working. And don't worry, I'll bring you a live video on this and uh, stay tuned still producing power right here live from JW Solo USA thanks for watching and stay tuned for part 7
coming up. God bless. Bye-bye.